happy Monday, July 11. So what's going on in this world? Well, last week, July 4th, you got a little bit of, on my video, the uh, Highland Park um, shooting. And fortunately, they captured the uh, individual, the person of interest that we believe may have done this. Uh, and I guess he did confess to it, too. Uh, heroes that week were the people who saved that little Aiden McCarthy. And now did you see that there's a GoFundMe page? And last I heard, there were uh, pushing close to $3 million in GoFundMe funds for this uh, little toddler. Uh, so there are good people out there. Other thing that's going on is you see uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson uh, has announced that he is going to be... Uh, retiring, leaving, resigning. So that'll be interesting to see who replaces him. And uh, I guess the final thing that's going on, movies. Yeah, we like movies. Get away from some of the madness that we live in. Well, uh, the uh, the Minions, The Rise of the Guru. I think that's uh, the number one position. Number two is uh, Top Gun Maverick. I'd like to see that one. I haven't seen it. I think that's pushing over $600 million so far. And uh, coming in honorable mention third place would be Elvis. I think that's pushing upwards of around $100 million in uh, revenue. Anyway, that's what's going on. Hey, let's get to today's topic. You did see that right. Today's topic is about death in America. It's one of those topics that people don't want to talk about. I can't tell you over the last 37 years in this business, 30 years of owning the MLD agency, I don't think I have run into one person in all that time who says, oh, I can't wait to talk about death in America, about what's going to happen if I die. People don't want to do that. It's better to address it now while you're alive than avoiding it and leaving that to be addressed by your loved ones. So a question always comes up to me, Mark, how much life insurance is enough? One obviously is last expenses. What if I die? How much does that cost? I can tell you most people should have someplace around twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars for that. And that covers funeral bills, unpaid medical bills, uh, short-term debt, credit card bills, things of that nature. Twenty to twenty-five thousand usually is about right. Next thing is housing. There are people who left behind. Do you have to make sure that their housing is taken care of? Is a mortgage paid for? Or will there be enough money to pay for rent? Um, after that, if you have children, number three, educational expenses for these children. Or maybe your spouse now will need to go back to school and get re-educated to uh, learn a new occupation. That needs to be considered for um in, in the life insurance conversation. The other thing that needs to be considered is monthly income replacement. So let's say that the housing is taken care of, the debt is taken care of, uh, educational expenses are taken care of if that's necessary, but how much money is still necessary to live? Whatever that is, I'm gonna give you a rule of thumb. What, let's say that you need um, $3,000 a month. You multiply 3,000 times 180 that gives you a good idea as to how much life insurance should be added to that conversation. And then the last thing here is, what about retirement? If one spouse has been supporting the other one in many different fashions, but doesn't have a retirement of their own, does the life insurance that we're talking about in this conversation need to purchase a retirement and an inflation factor? You know, those are very important questions. Um, and you can come up with a huge, huge figure that's okay because from that figure we're going to subtract out uh, social security survivor benefits we're going to subtract out um, bank savings we're going to subtract out security savings that you might have with the fidelity and edward jones or wells fargo whatever um, account and we're going to subtract out uh, any retirement savings that you have through an employer or whatnot so whatever that figure is you know the interesting thing is People will tell me, that's a huge figure. I'm like, don't worry about it. Because this is going to be covered for the most part with term life insurance. Because once the kids are grown up, what's the mortgage is paid off? You don't need that much life insurance. So this is going to be covered with term life insurance for the most part. So don't be afraid of that figure. Don't hesitate to call me at the bottom of the screen. Be happy to help you figure out what's in your best interest for the people you're going to leave behind in reference to life insurance. Mark, don't worry about it. I'm not going to die. I'm young. Hey, you know what? 
I have a very special guest today for Mondays with Mark. That's right, it's Alexa. So, can you tell me how many people died last year? This might answer your question. On December 31st, 2021, the United States involved 825,536 deaths. That's interesting. But now, how many people died from an accidental cause? According to LATimes.com, the estimated accidental death total in the United States last year fell to 88,000, its lowest level since 1924. The National Safety Council... With what's been in the news lately with Uvalde and the Highland Park, uh, along with other shootings, how many people last year died of gunshots? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, in 2017, there were 39,773 deaths in the United States as a result gunshot wounds. I didn't realize it was that high. Now, how many people died or were injured because of gunshots? Here's something I found on the web. According to nightalenews.com, at least 81,034 people were shot by guns in... Obviously, none of you can be trusted with guns, so I'm going to take them away from you. That's a lot of people, isn't it? Okay, a few weeks ago we were talking about uh, reckless driving. How many people have died because of car accidents? They estimate that 36,200 people were killed in car wrecks last year. So, doing some simple math here, 825,000 people died last year. Just under 40,000 people died because of um, gunshots. 42,000 people died due to car accidents. Those are people, 82,000 people, about 10% of death was accidental, didn't expect to die. But I wonder if those 10% really wish they had the life insurance and the accidental death rider. Alexa, you are wonderful. Well, now I feel corny because you got me smiling from ear to ear. And so, Mark, what's going on here at the MLD Agency? Well, last week we were able to help a couple people out with their home and automobile insurance, uh, worked on a Medicare supplement for an individual, and the last thing is we are now fully sinking our teeth into the certification for the Senior Citizens uh, Medicare Advantage Prescription Drug Card Certification for 2023. Shortly after that, we should be getting our material for the Marketplace Certification for 2023. That's what's going on. So don't hesitate to give us a call. We're happy to work with you to find out what is in your best interest. Until next week, take care and be kind to one another.